Ladies and gents, guys and gals, friendly femmes and fellows all, Captain Turtle Waffle now invites you on a new adventure of a new, well, old, but new to you perhaps, game. New to the channel? Certainly. It is Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the complete edition with an HD mod, which simply, simply brings a few quality of life features and allows the resolution to enter the 21st century, and who could not be down with that? Um, originally, this game is, well, it's, it's been with me for most of my childhood, really, and uh, I am a child of the 90s. Uh, so that gives you an idea of what um, time this game is from. So, it's a fantasy setting. Uh, there are all sorts of wonderful factions with creatures and elves and wizards and dragons and skeletons and vampires and all sorts of lovely craziness. And we shall explore all of it today. And we shall do so with a random map, I think. Um, I think the format of this series is going to be something that just comes in every now and, uh, now and then in good long chunks. Um, where I'll play until I lose or until I win over over the course of a few episodes, um, and uh, so that it will, you know, it won't take up uh, most of your time if you're uninterested and just want to follow the channel for Met Medieval Two content. Then that's fine. We'll uh, uh, we'll get back to the regular thing very shortly. Don't you worry. But I wanted to take this aside because I love this game dearly. I think it's wonderful. It's one of the classics in terms of strategy games, and it I think it has influenced medieval games, you know, the Total War series, those kind of things, um, a whole lot. So, basically I'm going to generate a random map. Uh, there is a certain template from which you can do so. And I'm going to play, uh, let's go, yeah, with an underground. Um... Nicely uh, varied. I'm not uh, playing on the highest difficulty, but on the next highest difficulty. It's called Expert. That usually uh, challenges me a bit, keeps me from getting complacent. But um, yeah, but impo impossible. Then you just start with no resources, and uh, only under very few circumstances can I crack that ceiling. But Expert, it will be at least for the first one. Maybe we'll do impossible ch challenges later on. Let's dive in. Um, yeah. And we play as Fortress with Brockhild as our starting hero. So we are a defensively minded faction of swamp creatures that lurk in the dark mire of the jungle. And um, we are beast masters. We are witches. Here we have an example of a beast master whose specialty is wyverns, who are basically, um, yeah, you might know those from the uh, World of Warcraft kind of th side of things. Um, large, long-necked winged beasts with sharp teeth and a taste for blood. Uh, though we have some gnolls, wielding some maces, some serpent flies that are going to bite and our enemies. And then, we, um, this is a game called Heroes, so that there is indeed a great focus on heroes as such, with different specialties and all these wonderful things. They gain experience and skills and artifacts. It's a bit like an RPG in that respect, but you also command an army and a nation. Uh, and you know what? I think I'm going to see what can we do. What can we do? We can hire Melanda, who's a witch. There's a specialty in the spell weakness, and we can get Dracon, a beast master with specialty in gnolls. And actually, I think a a gnoll kind of guy would be kind of neat. And then Brockhild can take the serpent flies for a spin. Oh. <laughs> let's see, yeah, so they have uh, Let's uh, take Brockhild scouting. I'll use one hero as a scout and the other 
uh, to uh, level up and deal damage and all these wonderful things. So there are all sorts of creatures, familiars, demonic creatures, and dwarves, and in this game, it's it's wonderful indeed. Oh, I think that's yes, an ore pit, and uh, we like ore. Um, what do we want to create? Maybe we would like a structure. Uh, I'm just thinking, let's upgrade our nose for this guy. That makes them faster and stronger. Bigger, better, faster, stronger. Robots! But no, they're gnolls. And there's some... Ooh, there's some wood over there that has my name on it, I feel. So let's... Mm, maybe take a treasure chest first. To get some cards of prophecy! Cards of prophecy. Increasing the luck, luck of our entire army. It's just very nice. Okay, then let's head over to this place. Oh, and there's a Mileto Tower that increases defense stats for a given general. So let's keep going. There's some gnolls over there and some gnolls over there. There's a crypt where we can encounter undead creatures. And we gain resources if we beat them. Town hall. That increases our income, so we're gonna go down that hole. And let's see what. Skeleton warriors. That might be a good shout. Yeah, we might be able to take them. And indeed, we do, even without breaking a sweat. Let's take some gold and. Take the next turn. Ooh. Guarded by serpent flies. Let's head for hill south. And we'll pick up some gnolls. And some gold. Ooh. I am spotting a learning stone. Those are very good. But we can't access it because it seems to be guarded by something that's twitching in the darkness. Okay, so, indeed, sharpshooters, they are deadly. Hmm, so let's go a different path. We might want to go... You know what, let's go back and upgrade these guys. And then... Let's visit the Garden of Revelations. Yes. Yes, yes, indeed. Hang on a minute. I'll just uh, switch out of the game to take care of some uh, audio business. I think the gameplay might be a bit loud, so I'm going to push that down a little bit. Okay. And so we're back. With four and a half dB less game volume for you guys. Ring of Vitality. He seeks the artifact under that name. For what purpose, we do not know. But he will reward us if we find it. But of course, it's a pretty valuable item in its own right. So we'll see what happens when and if we get it. A Major's Guild, where we can learn spells like magic arrow and stone skin and bless okay so there are lots of gnolls and lots of marauders they're upgraded kin let's go and have a bit of a hello say to these gnolls um, they just want us to go away, really, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try and see if I can take them without losses.
Ah, okay, we can probably not take them completely without the losses, but... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. But we can outrun them. We certainly can do that. And then we can take them. Like that. Good. So we lost two instead of ten, which I call an improvement. Uh, then let's see these guys. What do you say? Four. Ah, uh, you know, I think I can do a little bit better. So they come toward us. Um, Let's move our troops together and wait. See what they do. Um, slam and slam and yes. Excellent. Good. So this is uh, turn based uh, strategy and turn based combat. Turn based all the way. And I think to keep in mind with um, the turn rotations in battle is that the faster units will not only move farther, they'll also start earlier. In, um, you know, they'll be earlier in the in the unit rotation. Uh, so speed is a momentous advantage in this game. It really is. Which is why I wanted Dracon, because he can give a speed bump to these through his specialty. Um, he increases the attack and defense skills of the gnolls for each level attained after first level, but with a hero specialty you also get one further in movement speed. That's not even advertised, but it should be because it's important. So here we have Horb Goblins. Uh, let's see. What else could we take? Oh, that's a Necklace of Swiftness. Speaking of speed, that's, uh, that's a good one. I think I'll have to go back for some more gnolls. Yeah, right. Uh, lots of wolf raiders. Hmm. Lots of wood elves. Lots of gogs. Ah. Uh, I think the hot. Uh, the goblins will be our best bet, and then we'll see what we can do. There are no gnolls to recruit there, but there will be. There will be. Trust me, there will be. And we got City Hall. Let's get our main hero back to the town. And um, our other hero, he can just wait around. Let's go for a citadel. Yes. That would be neat. Because uh, upgrading your citadel upgrades your town's defenses, but it also increases the number of troops that you can recruit from a given town. So it kind of goes without saying that that is tremendously helpful. Um, yes. So now Dracon has a wonderful little spellbook. I like to keep my units slightly asymmetrical. Um, yeah, let's get some lizardmen. They fire bows, um, and they are pretty good at it for a second tier unit. 
Ooh, nine. Can we best that? Yes, I think we can because I want to use spells in this one. But what I use remains to be seen. Ah, you know what? I think I'll magic arrow these. Now these are speed 5s, but these are speed 7s, so they rival our gnolls. Let's hope they just don't get good morale like our gnoll just did there, because that affords them an extra m action. Good. Okay, then let's go to town. Excellent. Okay. We don't have that many archery units in this. We're, we're kind of melee focused in this. Uh, and, and certainly this guy will be. So I'm going to go for armorer, which reduces all damage inflicted against my troops. We can also go by archery. That's also good, but not as good for our purposes. And we get some attack skill, which is always welcome. Um, especially because heroes of this town tend to get uh, more defense skill than attack skill. Just uh, naturally uh, predisposed toward defense, you might say. Um, lots of familiars, yes. We can deal with them, I think. We're going to clear out a lot of the low-level scum of the earth. Um, and we're going to do it now. But I kind of need to get rid of those gogs. Or whatever's up there. Let's go have a look, see what it is. Orcs, they throw axes. But there are not too many of them, so actually that route might be a good shout. Grab those gems on the way back. Get some captain's quarters. And uh, here we go. Familiars galore. Three losses. I think we can do better. Uh, that's not too good. Okay, so we lost a lizard man. I don't know what I'd prefer, one lizard man or four gnolls, but given the circumstance, I'm going to say gnolls uh, are the better units to keep around because uh, they do still have two to three. They have deal the same damage. The lizard men are just ranged. Until the lizard men upgrade, of course, by which time they become a tad more deadly. Mm. So what to go for? Yeah, we should go for the orcs, I think. go to town and perhaps pick up some more troops, but uh, this time we take the serpent flies. The women nests, they're all up there. Uh, 
And let's then get these seven flies up where they will be needed, because this is where they actually will be needed, yes. Um, like that. I think that's going to be good. So, Dracon, it falls to you to break us out of this area. Eleven casualties. I think we can do better than that. I'm gonna shoot the orc chieftains. Okay, I'm gonna be fine with them shooting the lizard men. Ah. Okay. This might get nasty. But that's better. Ah, similar one. So, kind of similar again, but... Fewer nulls. That's the main takeaway for me. Ooh, expert armor. Yes, what else do we have? Oh, basic leadership. Okay, that's fine. Just adjusting my chair. Okay. We can upgrade seven flies. Uh, yeah, that might be a good idea. Lots of goblins. And that'll allow us to go somewhere, but let's see where. Let's wait a while with these guys. Ooh, hello. Now our mighty knolls are of course only speed sixes on this terrain because we've changed from swamps to grassland and our units just don't like that as much. So now these hobgoblins, they do have a leg of an ass, but I think we'll be fine. That's how I like it. Okay, um, yeah, let's go to the uh, Eagle of Fortune and a Star Axis. That's pretty good. Help you increase your spell power. Now, do we go for Castle? I think we might as well. Castle and then Capital, so we will need some Capital. Capital with an A. And we will need some wood. So if we can get past those familiars, actually, that could be good. Yeah. Okay. Let's wait a turn. And then... Hmm. Quiet Eye of the Dragon. That's a pretty good one. It's guarded by a horde of halberdiers. I'm slightly more keen on taking on those... Because lots... That will be less. Um, so let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do indeed. Um, so now our magic arrow has jumped in power to 30 points of damage. Taking out three halberdiers. Let's see what they do first. I'm just dying to know. And they're speed fives, I believe. No, they're speed sixes because of terrain bonus, so it equals out. They're equally fast to us. They 
attack move just out of range. That's good. Now let's repeat that. They're tier 1 units, but they're kind of strong. Um, a bit like our gnolls, really. When you think about it. Don't want to lose a serpent fly here today. I'd rather lose a lizardman. And then take him out. There are no gnolls to recruit, but there will be, there will be. And next time we can afford a castle. Oh, that looked like a necromancer just over the hill. Ooh, what do we want? Gold or experience? Oh, I'm tempted to go experience, but we're going to need some gold now. Because that gold means that we can buy a castle now and a capital building next turn. Which will give us a lot more money. An additional 2,000 per turn. Hmm. And speaking of additional things, let's get some nobles. Let's get some resources from these windmills. The resources that they offer once a week. And the capital building is secured. Let's head down to that windmill. And over to that one. And then Brunhild will go up to go up and meet our hero Dracon. By this wonderful little bit of spring water because he is going to um, actually he's going to take all of these he's going to go down and he's going to get them upgraded and that's what's going to be good about this whole deal we'll come back with freshly invigorated troops and meanwhile uh, should we take on some familiars? I think we should 13 losses but there are a lot of them so I'm gonna say okay. Earth magic, very much welcome. Okay. Well, this is good. This is nice. This is another day in paradise. Um. Oh well, paradise or paradise? It's it's a swamp, but I guess for certain people it's paradise, eh? What do you say? I mean, there are a lot of people living in in Florida, for instance, or Louisiana, and that's a pretty swampy terrain, if you ask me. I've only visited the States. Uh, I'm from Denmark, so... Take everything with, uh, with a pinch of salt, eh? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Fifty-fifty. Excellent. Um, or maybe we should go hundred and put them like that. And then we should go into this crypt. One loss. I'm gonna say okay to that. And. Now, we are gonna go visit some hobgoblins and get ourselves a sulfur dune. Two losses of dragonfly? No, 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 no. That's not what we're here for. Not at all what we're here for. Let's rather wait a while. Now these upgraded lizard warriors now deal a bit more damage, so that's neat. Um, you can't reach us up there, so that's where we're gonna go. Slam! Ah, fiddles. <laughs> Three nulls is less egregious than two 
dragonflies. Because dragonflies f fly so far. Speed 13s. That will be the fastest unit we'll come across for a while. And they make units like those marksmen look m much less scary. And those gawks, actually. So let's perhaps go and say hi to them. Sharpshooters? Hmm. Maybe. Okay, we need new units. Um, it'll be a while before we can get them. Basilisks or Gorgons? Uh, I want to go Gorgons. It's going to need a lot of wood to get us from to get to come on from that. So, do we have any wood stashes nearby? Uh, the closest kinder is that. It's guarded by these wolf riders over there. Or wolf raiders, sorry. But uh, I'm gonna take it. Because Gorgons are pretty awesome. They're tanky and they get death there uh, in their upgraded form, which kills. I mean, that's. Yeah, I suppose you'd expect that from an ability called death there, but. There you go. There you go. So let's get him down below. Cage of the Warlords, actually. That's going to be good. Mm hmm, stirrings in the west. Let's go like that. Ooh! A haste scroll that's come, gonna come in handy. Ah! <laughs> I can't make it. Um, uh, well, okay. Uh, let's send you up to that windmill there and collect our due. Eleven dragonflies? Are you eating bolts for breakfast? Come on, AI, you can do better than that. At least I should bloody hope so. Um, okay. Now, what I actually want to do now is haste these guys. And do the waiting game. Because waiting... You know. The early bird, maybe it's the worm, but... Slow and steady wins the race. I say. Ah, oh, that takes on one, but I guess that's livable. And then we co close in for the kill. <laughs> that's much better. So much better, in fact. Um, let's go with some better leadership. And experience. Ooh, wisdom, yes. Please. Okay, so now we have 13 wood, which is good. Let's get a resource silo. Getting them in early is always good. Or oh, early and early. This is week four, damn it. Ah, I feel like I'm a bit behind. But, uh, now we're gonna visit back home. And then we can start get some, start getting some withs, some wine withens, withens. Yes, I believe it's withens that they're called. Mm, indeed, 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 and indubitably, within nest. Very nice. And then we get a defense skull 
the warlord cage. And let's get that upgraded Gorgon Lair. That's nice. And then at some point we can get Hydras. They are tanky, they deal a lot of damage, and they're just all around lovely. Until then, though, uh, let's keep pumping some money into these. And uh, perhaps these. Because the key to avoiding losses in the other game is to keep the enemy where you want them. And uh, speaking of that... Let's see if we can't just route these guys. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna make a try for it on that one. Okay, so that's three rather than Four, which I suppose is good after all. Then we get more speed and more wood, and both of those are good. Um, let's continue collecting, and let's then not let's send him over to learn something from that learning stone. Dracon. Let's take care of these wood elves. Ah, they don't want to face us. That's fine with me. Then, War Guild can just go over and take that. And we'll get the armor trait. That's good. The Gogs, yeah, not crazy about fighting them either. Lots of Wolf Raiders. Ah, let's try to fight them. Let's just uh, take them on. You. Ooh, that's nasty. Logistics, thank you. Logistics allows you to move further, which is nice. Um, so let's send this guy around collecting stuff. I think that's going to be good. Yeah, we need a bastard's pit, pit for the Pond of Doom, so let's get ourselves into that pond. Pond, what do you say? Pong, pong, pong. No, I will not lose dragonflies to those. I simply refuse. Okay. Um, we have elementals, we have wolf raiders, so let's go with some wolf raiders. Oh, stirrings right around the corner. Upgraded wivens. Glory be to the wivens. There are a lot of them, but I think we can take them on. By waiting. That's my number one tip for anyone getting into this game. Wait until there's no tomorrow. Uh, let's take these guys on. Oh, yeah, okay, we're gonna lose some. Damn it! That's nasty. Advanced Earth Magic, always nice. So we can see our creature of strength is the mighty Gorgons, but you know, that doesn't necessarily say a whole lot because they're not a best stack, so equally 
all these other fellows over here, they can, you know, they might have one or two of these naggers for all I care. Or all I know, really. Um, Kingdom of Strength, we are in a solid fourth. Well, okay. Clavius with... Okay, that's an interesting mix-up. An undead guy commanding eagles. Yeah. Okay. Now our infrastructure is starting to heat up. And, um... You know what? Let's get those gems now that we're here. Some gold. Ooh, a slow scroll. I love that. Get thee there. Um... Horde of Basilisks. Nah, I'd rather go for those skeleton warriors. And get some attack skill. That's always nice. Uh, lots of sharpshooters. Let's see what else there is. The different types of terrain will impact our journey. Ooh, familiars on the run, but no, we shall catch up to them. Um, so, NATO terrain, you'll always move faster, and alien terrain, like this one, you'll always move slower. Um, the slowest terrain to move through, for those who don't know it, is swampy terrain, so we're kinda good on that. But if we run into something like ice terrain, then that will really... That will really kick our teeth in, logistics-wise. Earthquake, so it's nice that we're getting earth magic then. Hmm, we might get another hero here. That's cool. Um Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, we're good with that. Seven Roth. Ooh, she's cool to have. She gives one extra crystal a day. So let's run down with her and get some troglodytes. Um, of course she's not going to be amazing, but she's actually... She's going to be an okay scout in these underworld parts, so we're going to use her for that, if nothing else. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Thank you. A day late, perhaps, but better than never. And now we have hydras to look forward to. Oh, orange on the run, and ooh, a new enemy coming to us from the north. Malekith with his ooh red dragons. Okay, 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 okay. Um, you know what? Dracon, you might want to be home for Christmas this time. Uh, oh, sorry. you got to go through these uh, elementals, though. Let's just slow them down. And shoot them. I think that's nice. Advanced logistics, please. Okay. Uh, go up to this and then head over to those resources over there. 
Okay, the upgraded pond is not the most expensive thing in the world compared to other seven tier dwellings. But it is a bit of an investment nonetheless. Let's go get some gnolls. Or maybe let's start with the resources and then the gnolls. So that the gnolls don't slow us down. Because another function of speed, a third function of speed in this game, is that it helps determine the speed with which you move on the campaign map, so to speak. So that's also worth keeping in mind. That's also why I'm equipping Brockhild with these dragonflies, because they just fly at 13 speeds. But when he picks up these, next turn, his speed is going to be hampered a bit. But uh, yeah, okay, so Sephiroth. Uh, let's... ooh, Star Axis. That's good for you. And upgraded hydras, here we come. Now, what I want to do is raise an army and then follow purple. Yeah, that is the best hero. Okay. That's good to know. We've fallen in Kingdom Armor Strength because we have not recruited in a while. But that's okay, because soon we will, and we have a potentially devastating army to unleash upon our enemies very soon. Let's see what's beyond that gate. It's a two-way teleportation system. <laughs> Zombies lie this way. Okay then. Just return. Let's take in these guys. So, the only thing that really needs to be upgraded for now is... ...the M Mage Guild. That will require some rare resources. Let's get our Wyvern Monarchs on the field. And some more Mighty Gorgons. And a few of those. Let's go and say hello to these lovely fellows over there. But we can't. Oh damn it, I shot myself in. That wasn't too smart. Okay. Orange comes along. Uh, kind of breezing through with a scout it seems and another scout it seems okay hmm. let's send you over there so you're ready to take that very soon. Nah. Might have gone in too early for that. But okay. Serpent flies are afraid. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna pursue them though. And I'm gonna lose less than that one drag fly. Alchemist's lab is ours. Let's also get rid of the dwarves now that we are here. Scouting in the same place with two heroes. You know, I've heard of better ways to use 
your time, but don't let me judge you, AI, don't let me judge you. Okay, let's go back here. And wait for next turn where... Uh, okay, there might come a plague. Uh, no, because they only have they usually only happen during the change of months. Uh, you don't have a plague every week, so to speak. So we're not going to be seeing that. But I'm going to say that's good. Hmm, Horde of Familiars. Yeah, let's uh, see if we can get back to uh, Warren over there. Mage Guild level 2. Ice Bolt, that's, that's okay. Drains body heat from the selected enemy unit. Uh, let's get a Hydra. And that's kind of it, I suppose, but yeah, it's enough, I think. Lots of trolls. Are they intimidated? Not really. Let's take them anyway. We should be able to do some things to them. Some very mean, mean, mean things. Um, you will be slowed down. these guys regenerate. That can be very annoying, but uh, let's see if we can't just smash them a bit. That actually did more than I thought it would. That's annoying. But, uh, that's nice. Okay. Go for it. And slam. Excellent, excellent job. And an ink cash. That's gonna be pretty good. Get a few resources in that way. Maybe take out those marksmen. We can go up and take that artifact, that would be nice. Okay, they beat us to the warren over there, but we will, we will, we will overcome. The marksmen don't like fighting us, but they are not going to have a choice. And neither will the dwarves. So we raid their stockpile. Okay then. Um, ooh, yes, of course, troglodytes. Uh, now we are building up a bit of a money stash. Oh, which is just as well, because here comes an enemy. Um, worthy of our attention. Well, I say worthy. Sufferable. Um, let's take some withens and some gorgons. Some more gnolls, maybe.
Maybe we should trade in some more resources. We don't have that much to spend it on anyway. If we do like that, we can get ourselves a Hydra. Oops. See daisies. That's better. Um, hello! Oh! A wyvern died. I suppose that is due to magic, but let's see what we can do to mitigate that. No, it's not due to magic. Might be due to that, though. Let's see. 64, though. Yeah, okay, so they do have a lot of those troglodytes. I can see how that would make an impact. Let's go down there where they're just outside the troglodyte's range. Ah, they flee. Okay. Well then. I'm gonna take that though. There's Clavius. With his eagles. Let's see if we can't uh, do something in this direction. They would probably have taken that dwarven treasury. there but oh my that's uh, looking a bit spicy and perhaps a bit dicey and I love it I love it uh, let's get some medusas maybe and go get some XP see what we can do uh, and then reinforce our army next time we should be able to no, 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 we'll need six sulfur, so we'll need two more than we actually do have. Which is significant because... Oh, hello, Malekith. Yeah. Um, this is gonna lead to us just running away. Hello, Knowles. Can move you there. Let's move you there. Like we just don't care. Ooh, let's put Earth Magic. Do not mind if I do. That will enable us to slow our enemies down, way down, and actually do it to all of their units. Okay, so we seem to have a dungeon over there e over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, but that's orange though. And this is purple, so that's interesting. Okay, I shall look forward to seeing how this develops. Let's attack the guards and let's see if we can get by on Scathe. Hmm, yeah, we could just slow down all of them. Down to one speed, oh, that's so cute. Okay, shoot the battle dwarves, and shoot those dwarves, and hit the battle dwarves. Uh, 200, uh, about 200 damage, 20 times 20, that'll make them kill 10 of them. Yeah, they are reasonably tanky, those guys. But of course, we do have our deaths there helping us a bit. And we can do it again. 
Just like Steely Dan saying, Gotta get back, Jack, and do it again. Because the wheel's turning round and round. Get back, Jack, and do it again. Good, that's good, that's good, and let's take that. And again. The dwarves writhe in pain as the poison courses through their veins. The poison from these wooden monarchs, which is deadly. That's good, I think. Um, getting some extra gold. Our enemy isn't really near us, so I feel confident in sending a bunch of troops northward. Like this, and then I suppose it'll all add up into a huge and beautiful force. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Not visited? Well, let's remedy that. Good, 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 good. Uh, up to the learning stone. Let's get some resources now that we're here. Let's see if we can just... Uh, force our opponent to stay in their town. That would be nice. Okay, so we have a bit of a conflict going on here. Malekith has taken and retaken Darkhold. Um, let's head this way though. Goodbye. Uh, let's get some gold. I'd love to get some more spell points though. We can get all the way up there, so that's going to be okay, actually. Can you reach send? Yes, you can. Excellent. Mage Guild level 3. Alkin, the Gorgon Master. Because the game is, after all, called Heroes in the plural. Let's see if we can do something about this upstart over there. Like that? And then like that, maybe? Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what they do. They just cower in the corner like the thieves that they know that they are. Our forces can't stand against the Malekith, though. Damn, he's a powerful wizard. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run. Goodbye. Now, it's a new week for us, but it hasn't hit that turn yet. So, let's get on with it and strike at the heart of their empire before they gain any new troops. How does that sound to you? Because it sounds pretty fantastic to me. Well, let's just do it. Okay, so apparently that's not a long shot at all. Let's see what we can do with some human control. This will be a nice climactic battle to end this episode, and after this we might take the fight to the underground.
Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. We have a lot of power, so our spells will last for seven turns. And we, of course, have this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful expert level in Earth Magic. So it will affect all of their units, except the dragons, because they're immune to it. Good, 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 good. Um, let's wait a little bit. And try to use uh, archers to force them out. Or maybe draw them out with our gnolls. to protect a unit. Ah. Okay then. Uh, let's take out the dragons. Wow. Oh, I'll take them out. Good. The Wyvern Monarchs showing their strength. Ah, oh, we can't do that anymore. Darn it! Well, then we can magic arrow something. Something, something, something. Minotaur Kings, I think. They can help us against these. Okay. Maybe slightly better-ish, I don't know. But we captured this town, and that's good. Let's get ourselves a Mana Vortex. Because that'll double our spell points, and we gained a Knowledge Point from our level up, so that's excellent. And now we have a home for Saffenroth. Saffenroth. Brigel, do you... You can go south again. Yeah, let's just take those losses. I think that's okay. It might be acceptable, you know? Um... Now, so this is Dungeon, and this is their uh, roster. They got Manticores, they got Medusa, they got Happy Hags, they got Infernal Trucodonites, they got Evil Eyes, Minotaur Kings, Manticores, Red Dragons, you know, a lot of good stuff. Uh, and they're fun to play as. And now we effectively have them too. 
And that's the wonderful thing about this game, that you really take over the cultures that you conquer, and that's kind of fun. I like that. Hmm... An alchemist lab, that might be good. Do we have a resource silo? We do, so we get a lot of sulfur now, which is excellent, because we need it. Let's get some Medusa. Or pit, always handy. Battle Scholar Academy provides experience bonus, just like our own town provides defense. Hmm. Who comes knocking? Clavius. We'll be ready for him, I think. Excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, that, that means we can afford more dragonflies. Horde of boars. I'll be all over that. Sure, why not? There are a lot of water wheels down here. So that is very, very indicative of the kind of economic growth we can experience very soon. This place, um, that will take us ah, pretty close to that dark old town. Okay, so now I kind of have a plan, I think. Um, so Clavius is loitering around over here. Let's see if we can find some something of value. Then, we'll recruit some troops. Some good ones. Just enough to get the better of this guy. And I think we do have that now. So let's get him down. He has fled. Oh dear. Okay. Um, now... What I want to do is send this guy over to Dracon because then we can merge the armies and have Dracon invade the second dungeon town so that will be that I think yes Dracon. Let's hit that water wheel and the shrine. 
Anti magic. Okay, that's an earth magic spell, so that's useful. Obelisk, why not? Let's get Brockhild up there. How far can you get? Over there, so let's get you up there too. Let's visit windmills like mm, there's no tomorrow. Ooh, mate kill level four. That's really good. What do we get? Ooh, town portal. Okay, new plan. <laughs> A lot entirely new plan, just an extra stop on the way, because now Dracon will be able to cast Town Portal, which is a very important spell, especially if such a thing like that occurs, and you really want to make sure that nobody takes your main town, <laughs> and Town Portal is awesome. Um, let's get a fen offense. And now he has learned Town Portal, I believe, because he has advanced wisdom. There it is. Transport him to any friendly town. Which is great news indeed. So, Brockhild, get thee there. And then back. But now, Dragon will be able to just teleport in and out of different towns, including our own. So now, of course, we do have a choice to make. We can either teleport him back to our town for more troops. He can get. Uh, it's not too exciting though, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. No, I am just going to plow right ahead down that subterranean gate and see what we find downstairs. The puzzle map is expanding and each clue on the puzzle map brings us one step closer toward the grail. Which allows us to construct a wonderful building that uh, adds to daily income like nothing else and also boosts our recruitment potential. Ooh, let's get basic estates because a bit of extra money never had. Oh, but that does. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's go. Okay, um, Brockhild, let's head over there, Artifact Merchants, that's also a very good building, especially now that we're gonna collect a lot of rare resources. So I'm gonna want that, but not necessarily now. As in now, 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 but soon. Whew. They may have spotted us, but they did not catch up to Sephiroth. Okay, so I think we're gonna go this way. Ooh, Dragonfly Hive. We can get Wivens. No telling how many. Let's see. Ah, deserted. Go down. Okay. Um, let's take you back to your town, because if they come our way, we want the we want her to be able to defend it. So we're gonna save up for that eventuality.
Let's send Brock Hill down the subterranean gate over here. Oh, mm, maybe over here. Oh yes. Just see, so we can see what kind of what's coming from this direction. Mercenary camp, always welcome. Level five. Fire elemental summoning. Yes. Okay. Not, not the best spell in the world, but it can do in a pinch. Of capabilities just improved considerably, and Darkhold is almost undefended. How fortunate can I possibly be? kind of milling around as if they don't know what they're looking for maybe they're not oh yeah they do have troops they have troops they have one week's worth of forces it seems but we can take them on I think let's let's take them on it would be kind of anticlimactic to let the computer decide for us who wins or dies this day. Okay, they can slow on one of my units. I'm gonna throw an earthquake. I'm gonna wait a bit. Shooting my lizard warriors. Fine, I guess. They didn't have much left in them anyway. Okay. <laughs> they almost killed one troglodyte. Ah, that's not impressive. Get over there to that wall. Ooh, a dragon is in our midst. Let's pound them and let's make sure that the others don't move very far. They slow one, I slow them all. Mm, we might kill it. By the way, it dies now. Good. Ooh, we're using their moat against them. Ah, this is perfect. Okay, I love this. <laughs> um, good. Let's get some troops in there now. They have very little to defend themselves with. Goodbye. Goodbye. Farewell. Excellent. I think that's a bit better. Once the spell scrolls, it's fine. A level. That's good. Okay, let's get ourselves another mana vortex then. Double our spell points once again. 
Andra might be a good pick to be the custode of this town. Hmm, some neat power-ups close by. Yeah, I'm gonna get myself a second hero right away. Basic sorcery, always nice, with all these destructive spells, chain lightning, lightning bolt, inferno. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um Orson Cadamantico Overlord. Well nah. I like Andra. He speaks to me. Sephiroth, you've gained the level. Congratulations, how do you feel? Now, what can we get for 74 wood? We can get... Stove Watchman, not great now. But it might get more interesting with gems if we increase our number of them or our number of towns and there it comes the more gems it's almost as if there's i mean can't be a coincidence can it anything's possible in the world of heroes 3 the wonderful world of heroes Let's have ourselves a flaming sword. We'll boost our attack and defense. Needless to say, that'd be great in a pinch. Now, the question is, what is coming at us down here? Actually, not a whole lot. So... We could just take these harpy hacks and go to town on something that we feel like smashing. Learning stone. Ooh, star axes, of course. Ah, I must be out of my mind. And here comes ah Jesus! How can he move so far? Is that is that Gunner? No, it's Arlac. Well, that was unexpected. Okay, so how to best get back there? Uh, that's quite a long way. You just travelled from one in one's one go. It's kind of impressive. Um, I suppose we could just. That of course has a lot of our units. That is infuriating. But I suppose we captured two of their towns, they're capturing one of ours. That's the name of the game here. Deep Shadow... Yeah, let's go. No time for waiting. Water zombies. Let's take them on. No, they're not going to even take one of us. Two hundred and ten points of damage, which is pretty good.
There we go. Basic archery, let's go with that. Estates, excellent. And the sulfur dune. Let's go over to those mystical gardens, I guess. Uh, putting you against that town would be an utter waste, but we might just, I don't know, distract him, something. I suppose if we were supposed to, going to do that, we, ah, we should have gone standing over on that alchemist lab. Someone has been here recently, but haven't taken these resources. Sometimes the AI just mystifies me. Oh, sorry. Clicked the wrong thing. Um, well, I suppose now that we're here, might as well go out with a bang. Yeah, that's about all we can do, I guess. Ugh. Okay, he's coming toward us, which means that we can take him out. And we can take him, I know we can. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can take out more than that. It's cost slow. See what they do. <laughs> Hit the hydras and poke it with the basilisk. Strictly speaking, not the correct order in which to do that, but... Yeah. 100 points of damage... ...to you... Bite. Oh, damn it. Forgot about the multi head attack for a moment, but we took him. That's good. That's one hero dealt with. He didn't manage to flee, so he will be gone. Uh, can we do anything about that? We can try. Because I'd be loath to lose that many dragonflies. Um, slam that. Ah! Ooh, one step too far. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> There's no other way of putting it. That's just uh, a downer. But Two to five. 
to do half the damage if they are in melee. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Ah, I forgot to move the I'm gonna hate myself for that after this. Ah, it's okay. Ugh. But they didn't have a capital building and so ours remained when they took it. And that is the silver lining if ever I heard one. move over to Deep Shadow once again and uh, or maybe uh, let's go to Dark Hold okay magic arrow not very interesting Rally fire, very interesting. Basic logistics, excellent stuff. Um, yeah, let's pick up some more resources. retreat so over here actually okay so the plan is gonna be to just gonna free up some stuff him to take. And next turn he will go back to his own town. Dracon that is. Pick up some forces and head through the portal. Deal with the dwarves. Pick up the chest. Pandora's box. And uh... We're gonna have a good time, I think. Ooh, we haven't visited that. So let's go there, and then go here. Get that borderless eminent. And we'll while we're here oh we need one one damn thingy um one damnable thingy let's get it though so we can get this and some more knowledge and spell power we want that And that's gonna be pretty good. And then next week, or next turn, we shall go back home with a town portal and a lot of mana. First, he's gonna do some bips and bobs, learn some things, take some places.
and then... Ooh, that shield might be handy. Or that flail, maybe. Yeah, let's go with the flail. Greater Knoll's flail. So now we are buffed. Just a tiny bit. Mocha. <laughs> Let's get a load of forces. And then see if we can't make a difference down here. Yeah, let's engage them and uh, be completely with them. Good. Throng of troglodytes. Let's go back to the dark hold, I think. Knolls. Go away, dwarves. Go away, but slightly less violently, please. Shoot, kill, maim, but first of all, wait. Boy, you're gonna carry that weight. Carry that weight a long time. question is, can Sephiroth go from there and through there? He absolutely can. Which means... Oh. To Andra. <laughs> uh, which means that a hated enemy Malekith can also go through Darkhold. Uh, so actually... <sighs> Let's go back to Darkhold. And take on Malekith. And this battle shall then end the episode, I think. I've been saying that for a while, but this time I mean it. Because this is an adversary worth fighting with a 16 level in power. Now our combat buffs are better than his. Ooh! Ah! Ah, uh, that's a bit naughty. It's very naughty. Um,
for the retaliation and select them. Okay. Now we can slow him down, and he has no spell points remaining, so this is the optimal time for me to just sweep in and say, Hello! What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the woodens come for you? Not much, not much. And this guy, oh, 21, we're not going to take that, but, ah, uh, well. It seems that we're going to be getting another turn, though, so that's excellent. Um, let's take this one, slam them, and kick some bridge. Ah! I have made one miscalculation here. Oh, but ah <laughs> no. Okay, that's good. Ooh, necklace of witness. A lot of good artifacts. So he was desperate. There was one last act of desperation before he would cave and die. So we've eradicated purple. Still a long way to go though, I mean, we have three settlements and there or towns, and there are several on this map. Well, there'll be more than ten, I believe, so... But this is when it starts to pick up, when we've dealt with a lot of enemies. And we have three powerful towns, we have some good um, teleportation-based powers. With a strong hero, even though we're not using his specialty much anymore, but it was key in getting him there. And sometimes that's all that matters. You can have all the late game potential in the world as a hero, but if you don't make it through the early game, then you're scuppered. But this guy made it. Um. So yeah, I think that'll be it for this time around. Uh, I hope you like this kind of thing. I'm going to uh, be continuing with more episodes as soon as I can manage, uh, probably on Thursday. Uh, so if you have any comments, criticisms, anything like that, let me know. And if you hate this game and would never like to see it again, let me know as well. Um, I happen to think it's a blast from the past, but uh, each is entitled to their own and I want to hear your opinion. Um, so. Without more ado, I want to bid you farewell. This is Captain Total Waffle, out.